The Sovel SV03 is a huge direct drive 3D printer, and I think it's well worth the money. My name is Jim, and this is The Edge of Tech. So when Sovel contacted me and asked if I wanted to check out the SV03, I looked it up, I saw how big it was, and I said, absolutely, I'm gonna jump on that opportunity. So they sent it over, and today we're gonna check it out. It has a huge 350 by 350 by 400 build volume, and includes a nice flat glass build surface. It has held on to prints when it's hot and let go when they're cold, and that's exactly what it's supposed to do. While we're talking about how big the bed is, I need to break in for one second. Recently, I saw Andrew Sink actually take a Prusa printer and put it on the bed of another printer he was reviewing. And I thought that was really cool, but this printer is actually bigger than the one he did. So I'm gonna take the Sovel SV03, I'm gonna pull the bed forward. I'm gonna take this Ender 3 Max and set it right on the bed. The feet actually sit inside of the bed of this Sovel SV03, that's how big this build plate really is. This is pretty awesome. Andrew, the ball's in your court now. To keep that filament flowing, the SV03 has a direct drive hot end that's great for all types of filaments, even flexibles. You won't have to worry about running out of filament either as it comes with a stock filament runout sensor. And to make prints on this printer even better and more consistent, it comes with a stock BL Touch for auto bed leveling. The included belt tensioners on the X and Y axis make it very easy to tighten and loosen those belts, and it's a welcome upgrade that I would love to see on more printers. The SV03 comes with a silent board that uses TMC2208 drivers, and in my testing, I found this to be a very quiet printer. In my experience uh, with the printer, I found the fans are the loudest part. It uses that standard screen that many of us have grown to love and it's super easy to upgrade because of that. The Dual Z on this is a must and it's controlled by dual stepper motors to keep everything in line. And to top off the whole package, the SV03 comes with a 350 watt Meanwell power supply. This helps with fast heat up times and it's a proven power supply in the industry. So we're about to get into the test prints on the Sovel SV03. But first, if you're liking this content, you're liking this video, please do me a huge favor, hit that like button now. So I've had very good luck with the Sovel SV03 so far. As far as profiles go though, all I did was jump in the Prusa slicer, I took the original Sovel SV01 profile that I had, I changed the bed size or the build volume, right? I added a G29 to the starting G code so it would do the bed leveling before every print, and that is it. It is a bone stock SV01 profile with a different size build volume and the G29 for the BL Touch. So the first thing I printed was this cube off of the SD card. It turned out pretty good. This green is kind of hard to shoot, but you can see some layer lines in there. Uh, I'm guessing that was just the setup of the machine as we went, but overall, not too bad. The, the top looks great. Uh, like I said, a little bit of lines around there, but not terrible, a great first print right off the SD card. The next thing that I printed was the Clockspring 3D reciprocal vase at 100% size. It turned out great, the layers look good, but it actually kind of looks small on this printer, only printed at 100%. Then I went and grabbed a rainbow filament and I printed the Clockspring 3D torture toaster. Now this is a version 1.1, there's a little revision uh, stamp right in here. Uh, it does move up to about 0.3 there. Oops, I just knocked that one out. Uh, 0.2 and 0.1, not loose on this one, but all the other ones did work. Um, if I spin this around, the overhangs look pretty good until you get up in that 80 area there. A uh, little, little dicey there, but other than that, they look really good. The toast does pop, so that's great. The gears work as intended, so that's awesome. And that's the Clockspring Hot Makes Torture Toaster. Came out really good in a rainbow filament. So all these prints are great, they came out awesome, but this thing is a big printer. And I tell you what, when you have a big printer, you need to print big things with it. So I grabbed the clock spring vase, the reciprocal vase here, I scaled it up to 398 millimeters, which is just two millimeters short of what this can actually do. I grabbed this Green Gate 3D Purple Rain, it's a recycled PETG. I threw some glue stick on the bed and I hit print and let's see what happens. And the result is this massive, gorgeous vase that came out great. I love the color and the video does not do it justice. 
If I actually take the 100% vase and put it next to it, you can actually see how big this vase is. So I laid down the glue stick on the bed because I didn't want the PETG to stick to the glass bed. And that's a thing, you gotta be careful with that, especially with glass beds. Well, it did an amazing job. And I tell you what else did an amazing job, this Green Gate Purple Rain. Now this is a recycled PETG from Green Gate 3D, like I already said, but I was really impressed on how well it printed straight out of the packaging. Now, if you're gonna use this and you leave it out like this one's been out, you might wanna dry it before you print, but straight out of the package, I had no issues printing this giant 398 millimeter clock spring reciprocal vase. So overall, I'm very impressed with the Sovel SV01. Out of the box, it comes with some great features that I think should be on most 3D printers these days, especially in 2021. And for a price tag in the US of only 439, I think this is a steal if you're looking for a big 3D printer. So let me know in the comments below what you would do with a 3D printer this size if you don't already have one and what you think of this one after seeing the video. I'm always interested what you guys have to say. Just put it in the comments below and I'll check it out. Hey everybody, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button right here. And if you liked the video, give me that thumbs up. Click that bell if you wanna be notified anytime we go live or another great video comes out. You guys are awesome. <laughs>